Hey, so we're here in Pleasants 1 in Edinburgh with Dead Cat Bounce after an absolutely fantastic gig. Thanks. Guys, congratulations. Thank you. Fair Thanks. play, doing the Irish Proud here in Edinburgh. Um, you've done a lot of gigs across the waters. Edinburgh, I know you're huge in Australia at the moment. Mass, mass yeah. weird, mass <laughs> <so> <laughs> well, I heard you had a street closed down in Australia. We were, we, that was a couple of more years ago. That we got closed down for playing <laughs> on the street. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. The, the, roof of, the roof of a cinema, we played our cover set on it, and there was a kind of, it was a weekend, so there was a lot of people around, and then there was all of a sudden there was people doing burnouts and. Well, not necessarily related to the, the songs we were playing. But we I don't know. Anyway, the police were called, everyone was shut down, there was a lot of complaints made by the city council. It's pretty rock and roll. We've got some great time. publicity at the same time. time. Yeah. Um, tell me. What is what do you think is the biggest difference between say crowds outside of Ireland versus the Irish crowd yeah. performing? <laughs> <laughs> is there or is there any difference? Uh, it varies. I mean, I, I think we sort of uh, well, it's certainly like at our gigs in Ireland, people kind of seem to know the songs now and stuff like that. Whereas like over here, I mean, we're playing it. If you spin the camera around, just it's a massive room. Uh, so there's quite a, like, a lot of people. It's their first time seeing us. <laughs> you know, so it's it's all kind of new to them. Um, so there's that, and also like, in Edinburgh it's kind of a comedy savvy crowd as well. Mm -hmm. So they come in kind of going, "Make me laugh, fuckers," mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and you sort of have to, like, you just have to. It's the, your game. Oh, okay. it's the internet. We can swear, can we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So more, <laughs> just swearing more balls, shit. <laughs> Tell me, have you any plan, big plans coming up in Ireland? Uh, we've got a gig in the Dublin Fringe, um, uh, which you would have to check their website for as to when that is, because there's a discussion in terms of we don't know. Yeah, we, we have a lot, a, lot of, a lot of stuff. Check decavance.ie, we'll be in yeah. Norway, we'll be all over the village. Yeah, 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 just a bunch of college gigs, oh, going up freshest weeks and things like that. We're yeah. so knackered at this stage, we flew, <laughs> dates have gone out of our heads. We, uh, yeah. yeah. we flew to Reading, we got on stage at 5 o'clock last morning. night, oh, this morning. Doing covers, uh, uh, yeah, basically, we're doing two shows every day here. One's at ten thirty, the other is at three in the morning, and that goes on till five. And we've been doing that every night. But then um, this weekend, we're doing the Leeds and Reading festivals as well. So, so we, we kind of get off stage at five on a plane at eight. So um, do you have to do that tomorrow as well? Yeah. yeah. Except we're driving tomorrow, so that's going oh. to be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the name um, Diecat Bounds come from? It's a really boring economics term. I, I, I just Google it. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> really hard to name a band, basically. That's the best we could do. Just and there are rival versions of it. There's a jazz band in America who had the same name. There's an electric producer who's doing quite well. Yeah. And there's a band of stockbrokers, which would actually give you a clue as to what it means. Mm -hmm. Just be lucky we're not called Girls, 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 but that was our second choice. <laughs> and last but not least, where in God's name do the leopard print trousers come from? Well, look. I, I just don't want anyone to be picking them up. I can't really tell you that. But it's a very exclusive boutique uh, in London. I'll say that. Uh, I'd like to publicise them, but I just can't. Okay. Just, you know, Not until they start giving him free ones. Yeah. yeah. Until I get sponsored by them, and then I'll be a whore for it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks a million for your time, and no again, worries. congrats on a huge success tonight. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.